Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, November 10th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across, not up to the job. It's not unable, that doesn't fit. Bun EG. I guess this could be about a hairstyle. It could also be a metaphor for a baby. Let's see if that's right. Unified. Hmm. It seems like that should be one. Maybe it's not a baby. Hmm. Like clothing worn to some 80s themed parties. I want to say this is probably neon. Available. Could that be free? What is this? Not up to the job. Okay, that's unfit. There we go. Oh, this could be an updo. It was about hair after all. Toe holds. That's gotta be ins. Morsel. So this is like a morsel of food? Hmm. Subtly damaging. That's gotta be pernicious. That's a $5 word. Drives around in circles, perhaps. I really want this to be does donuts. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Morsel, okay, that's gotta be a tidbit. Chesterfield EG. Chesterfield. What is that? Is it a gun? Or is it a cigar? I feel like it's one of those. Low parts of an opera. Uh, is it bassi? Is that the plural of basso? Hmm, is that right? I'm not sure. Renaissance fair performers such as a lutenist or juggler, perhaps. Huh, I guess you would call that person a minstrel, right? Yeah, I love it, but it's too much. Hmm. Is it something like, you spoil me? That is way too short. This is a grid spanner. But out, in brief. Mind your own business. It does start with you. Only about 10% of human bodies have these. This has got to be Audis, Audi belly buttons. What do we have here? Study. This is very ambiguous. This could be a noun or a verb. Rooster, but not a rooster. Are they asking for a hen here? Because a hen roosts, but it's not a rooster. Hmm. Study. It still didn't help too much here. Cash in the music business. I would want this to be Johnny Cash. I want this to be a hidden proper noun. Johnny. I don't think it can be Johnny. These are too good. Hmm. Did he have a wife? Little in Lyon. Okay, so this has to be the French word for little. It's not petite. The Hunger Games Mockingjay. 2014 film. What goes here? Oh, is it like part one? <laughs> yeah, I bet they did split that movie up. Okay. Hmm. Installation in a children's play area. That could be a ball pit. That would be fun. Footing. Hmm. What kind of footing are they talking about? I don't know. Taking care of things. I think this should be on it. Former Attorney General Bill, that was Bill Barr, who says in Shakespeare, Yond Cassius has a lean and hungry look. Ooh, what play is this from? Cassius, I feel like I've seen this. Hmm, House of Games writer director. Ooh. I'm not sure what House of Games is. Press. Could this be iron? Yeah, you can press your clothing. 
abbreviation at the end of a list. Ooh, I really want this to be at all. Hmm, highlight of an opera. Well, that should be an aria. Interesting, so maybe it is iron. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. That is way too long. I wonder if this is Mamet. I know he writes plays. Could that be? Let's see if that helps. Hmm. Am I? It's not like miscellaneous, is it? One who's been tapped on the shoulder. Hmm. What in the world are they talking about here? Hmm. It kind of feels like this should be a D. I'm going to take this out. That was a wild guess. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and build back into this section here. Highland where? Okay, this is talking about Scotland. So this has got to be tartans. Yeah, that's the Scottish plaid pattern. Prepared as green beans. How do you prepare green beans? It's not shelled. Hmm. I don't know. Many a shop outside a national park. It's not a souvenir shop. It's not an information booth. Is it tourist? Does it begin with tourist? I think maybe that's a good start. Rise. Hmm. I don't know. This S does feel a little strange. Start to charge. And this is wordplay, so it's not beginning to charge. It's got to be a prefix that goes before charge. Start to charge. Hmm. Footing. Convent residence. Who would live in a convent besides nuns? Hmm. Let's start fresh in this corner up here. Up to the job. That's got to be Abel. That's kind of a funny partner to unfit over here. Famed archers. Archers plural. Who are famous archers? I'm not sure. I don't approve of what you're doing, but okay. An equivalent phrase. Hmm. How would you say that? I don't know. Makes off with the goods in a way. With the goods. Is it lifts? That's another word for stealing, right? Blank milk. Oof, this could be a lot of things. Copycat. More wordplay. So it's not about a mimic. Hmm. I don't know where the pun is here. Copycat. Is it something that's a copy of a cat or similar to a cat? I don't know. Pharmaceutical plant. That really feels like it should be aloe. Hmm. Maybe it's not lifts. Let's try aloe. Oof. Maybe it's lutes instead. Comic strip with the teenage protagonist. Oof. I have no idea. Copycat. Maybe they're looking for meow here. You would be copying the sound of a cat. Famed archers. Oh, maybe this is Amazons. Warrior women, yeah. I don't approve of what you're doing. Be like that. Okay. So this has got to be zits, I think. Study. That'll be hit the books. There we go. You shouldn't have. Yeah, that's great. That's a nice grid spanner too. So, cash in the music business. Is it Roseanne? Footing. Yeah, that could be a basis. This could be a sister. That's another word for a nun. Make hay. You gotta make hay while the sun shines. Overhang. That's definitely an Eve. Manhattan options. The Manhattan is a cocktail, so this could be rye, rye whiskey. Reserve. That should be save. 
points to that's sights, I think. Take in a little bit. I guess maybe we're taking in a little bit of a drink. That could be a sip. Units divided into 100 points. Hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with a century. Oh, is this a Taurus trap? That's a really fun entry. Things on mason jars or racing cars. Hmm. Uh, ridges? It's gotta be plural. Hmm. I'm not sure what those two things would have in common. What do we have here? Group often costumed in robes. Hmm. This also has to be plural. Is this an S? Units. Hmm. This is tricky. What do we have here? Oh, grow up. Another equivalent phrase. It's not act your age. That seems like it would be a really good answer. And it does fit. I think you shouldn't have is too good to take out, though. Start to charge. Okay, that's got to be discharge. Doubloons. This is an old form of currency. Hmm. I think it has another meaning, too, though. I can't remember what it is. It's not pistols, is it? That would be too short anyway. Hmm. Confucius's Book of Blank. Ooh. I'm not sure about this one. Carnival location. Uh, would that be in Rio? I guess this could be Odes. Did Confucius write Odes? Rise. Hmm. I do like that we have an S here. I'm a little worried about this corner, though. Marvy. Is this a name or a word? I've never seen this before. Stoke. Hmm. I guess this could be feed. Like you stoke a fire. Marvy, man. I wonder if this is a slang word for marvelous. This could be fab, maybe. I think that's a pretty good guess. River through Florence. Uh, this is an Italian river. I don't know if I know this one. Things made of stakes. This is more wordplay. I don't know what the standard reading of this would be. Poker stakes? Hmm. It's going to end in S, probably. Waldorf divisions metaphorically. Oh man, metaphorically? Oof, that's tough. I didn't want to know that. Another equivalent phrase. TMI, too much information. So, I wonder if this is silos, like in a business context. Yeah, and this is fuel instead of feed. Man, that's tricky. Is this Arlo? Is that a river? Or is it Arno? I can't remember. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, grow up. Real mature. <laughs> That's a really fun equivalent phrase, too. Potential source of interest. Okay, this must be talking about financial interest. It's got to be an investment. Okay, so this is bets? Oh, I guess we are talking about poker stakes. I guess the standard reading would be about wooden stakes. So, what do we have here? Doubloons. It's got to be money, right? Um, hmm. I don't know what vowel is going to go in here. I guess this is rims. Cars and mason jars have rims. I guess this is carrots, like diamond carrots. This has got to be a send. And what is this? Oh, it's a choir. So this is pistoles. Um, 
is this money or is this the word for pistols in a different language? I'm kind of confused by this one. Verboten. Okay, this is the German word for forbidden. So maybe this is taboo. Yeah, it's true. And this is an exclamation point clue. So what is something that's literally true? I guess that would be a fact, right? The Star Spangled Banner was written about one. That was written about the American flag. Hout boys in English. Um, what? This is Spanish. Hout boys. I have no idea what they're asking about. LB? Terminus of the Apian Way. I feel like... Something's wrong here. Word with pigeon or pointy. That should be pigeon toed, pointy toed. Wait a minute, this is not about a flag? Oh, it's a fort. Okay, I guess it's about the fort that the flag is flying over. All right, so. What? Is it an oboe? Terminus. Uh, hmm. Of the Apian Way. I don't know, is it Rome? Stay tuned, an equivalent phrase. Okay, this has got to be more to come. Maybe it is an oboe. Hmm. Prepared as green beans. I guess this is sauteed, yeah. This has got to be Caesar, right? One who's been tapped on the shoulder. Oh, is it a sir because they've been knighted? They've been tapped on the shoulder by the king or queen. Maybe it is Mamet after all. And this is miscellaneous. Oh man, I did not think that that was what it was going to be. All right, well, let's throw this M in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in 22 minutes. We got off to a really quick start on this one, but we slowed down a little bit as we hit the center. Yeah, there was definitely some tricky stuff in here. This hidden proper noun, cash in the music business. And we had a bunch of really nice equivalent phrases. More to come. You shouldn't have. That is lovely. Be like that. Real mature. Yeah, there's some really sassy answers today. This one also really threw us for a loop. I'm still not sure what this is. Taurus Trap, that's a really lovely entry. Same with Hit the Books, yeah. They definitely managed to fit in a lot of really nice longer answers on this themeless puzzle. Oh, and this ended up being Pew, Little in Lyon. Man, I gotta remember that one. That's probably gonna show up again. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Friday puzzle with me, and there'll be more to come because I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week, the Saturday. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.